What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Heart to Life 4. It's Belgium in the World of Alternatives mod. Although, us as Belgium have not really done very much. Even though it looks like we're doing really well. This isn't me, if you're new, just haven't watched the other episodes. I'd recommend, it's been a weird series. Looks like the Allies will push back and defeat the Axis here. However, I don't think they'll be able to defeat the Comintern or Japan as well. But we'll see how it goes this episode. See how many more episodes they're going to be, basically. Oh no, Turkey, what? No, oh. <laughs> Okay, Turkey going after me again. Mainly with horses and tanks, but it, they are making slow progress. It's, it's whatever. <laughs> I don't think it'll matter in the grand scheme of things. Like I said, I think the second the Allies get over here, assuming Stalin doesn't have all his troops in some random spot, they should just then start pushing through again <laughs> once Germany's fallen. It would actually make sense for them to give them access, I guess. Doesn't look like that's happened though. I don't think they like each other. They're just kind of on the same team, but not really. Can I spend this on anything? I should probably know. I can do a lot of things. But I don't really. I don't. There's not really any benefits to me of having war support up. <laughs> All these people I'm at war with. Um, emergency factory conversion. War bonds. Wait, what happens if I do this? Oh. It's more military. Eh, that's probably not worth it. Form new nation. Oh. Wait, that's an option? Oh no, historic nations. Oh, I was going to say, where do I read form new nation? Oh, here. Oh. oh, okay, I can't form any. Never mind. That would have been cool. Form Europe. That would be awesome. That would be cool. Might try something like that one day. I'll play as the European Union, try to take over the whole world or something. That'd be pretty cool. I'll have to look into it. I think with the help of Spain, they're actually recovering a little bit. Not really sure, though. Obviously, Portugal's back. But I just think that's because they weren't ready. Um, America wasn't ready. But it looks like Vichy France might be making some progress again. Obviously, it's kind of a distraction when you're trying to fight on two fronts. But at the same time, the Dutch have definitely grown a little bit since last time. All new technology. Yes, let's get nukes. Oh, Sweden is still here. Just over here. <laughs> it's cool. As much as I wanted to see the German-Soviet war like, break out earlier, if it breaks out now, I'm pretty sure my PC will die. So let's hope the Allies sort of win first. <laughs> so at least we can see that. And then we'll try and go afterwards if something was to happen. But... It does look like they are making progress into Italy. It's mainly America, as you'd expect. Doing all the work. So now on three fronts. This is incredible. What a comeback. <laughs> three fronts. Also, if my Turkey livestream series does half as well as this, I'll be happy. I can't remember if I went communist. I think I did. Or did I go fascist? I think I went communist so that I had more time to do my own stuff. Before Germany dragged me into a load of rubbish. There's not got many national focuses left. In fact, I think I have three. Get this extra research slot. And then I think there's two of the boat ones. Just keep improving our artillery. So why not? Like I said, it doesn't really matter what I do at this point. But I'm not having the biggest of impacts on this game. I have to sort of spectate. Which isn't actually classed as a failure, because I'm happy. <laughs> you know, I, I just thought I wanted to like spectate this mod, and I didn't want it to be completely just spectating, so I thought I'd try and play as Belgium, because it's suggested a lot. It just didn't work out for me. Oh, that's why I had no factories. It's because I'd switched it to times 5 and for some reason they all stayed as times 5s <laughs> on the infantry equipment. So I had, like, no factories, when in my head I should have had quite a few. I still don't get why I can't build planes to get how many resources. Not <clears throat> percent per day. Maybe I just don't have the stuff to build planes. I don't have any airports, maybe. I don't know. What do I do now? Because I have my old stuff back. Who knows? I'm going to build cars instead. No. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. There we go. Oh, I can build tanks now. I don't think I have any templates using them. Yeah, I don't have any metal or anything, so... Or whatever it is. I'm assuming that's what the problem is. 
just going to build something. Let's just build some artillery. Can you not build that either? No. Okay, just more of this then. And I can't build anything now, apart from guns. Great. I can't even build support equipment. That doesn't even need anything. I don't understand this at all. It doesn't actually matter what I'm building, but either way. <clears throat> yeah, Vichy France definitely made a comeback, and they pushed into Italy, so if they get split in half here, this could be pretty bad. Well, the UK's made... It's not actually the UK, it's Brazil mostly, and the US in Spain. Look at Belgium go. The US here are actually not too far from Berlin. They got probably this close earlier, and then completely fell apart though, so... I wouldn't get my hopes up just yet. I wonder how close Germany are to capitulation. 42%. They're not too far away. Still a lot of members to go. <laughs> it's scary. Stalin has only contributed 3% so far. I imagine if he was actually trying. 4% from Turkey. Just to compare. Siam 15, Peru 11. Is that of the whole? That must be of the whole thing for this trio. Germany 26%, 13% Italy. Slo I thought Slovakia for a minute had done more than Stalin, but no, it was France. That's fair enough. Italy 13%. Yeah, that's fair enough. I'm surprised Peru have done so much. Japan's only done 7%. And look at all these other people who've done naught, like Manchuko. They have a lot of divisions. They haven't even used them yet. Meanwhile, over here, Sweden too, 4% for the Dutch, 35% for the USA. <laughs> They're carrying the team right now. 10% UK, British Raj did quite a bit. 9% from Bolivia. Not, not who you'd expect, 2% oh, from me. That's impressive. 93, why am I getting so many factories? Oh, it's because I've got like Germany's factories just being handed to me. I wondered why it was going up. Like, it was literally just ticking up. I was like, what's going on here then? But now I get it. Oh my goodness, Turkey is destroying it. Why is it not telling me about this? Oh, because all my men are dead. <laughs> Fair enough. I, I, I should have probably got that when it said I had zero divisions. Either way. Oh my god, there's so many factories that I can't use. Just keep building those. <laughs> keep building guns even though there's no army. No point even building half this stuff. Like, what is the point? Okay, either way, I'm basically just spectating now. If they, like, kill me off completely, I'll just go into the spectator mode. I think I remember how to do. Actually, they can't kill me off, because, like, this has to be killed off. So we should be fine. So Berlin might be about to fall. Which will be very interesting. Oh, that... See, it looks like we're doing so well, but then you just do this, and it looks horrible again. Still all of this to go. Turkey looking very strong too. So it's... Wait, is it showing me their whole team? Yeah, they've nearly got 10 million against our three. Oh, El Salvador joined Japan. There you go. Losses are pretty close. Oh wow, Germany is about to capitulate. 91% to what? Wait, oh, Berlin must have fallen. I wasn't even looking. <clears throat> yep, there we go. I am now in control of Berlin. This might be the best Belgium game ever. And I'm not even doing anything. How about that? I should. This, this is why I've always considered like doing individual titles for the videos. Obviously, I just put like the series name and the episode number because I'm not very creative. Although, now that I'm doing the videos in a different way, I could probably do it. Um, if I just like come up with a name for each one from something that happens. Like This one would be so clickbaity. It'd <laughs> be like, I finally... Best Belgium game ever. Strongest Belgium ever. It'd be something like that. And all the tags would be full of it as well. And they wouldn't even be related to Hearts of Iron 4. It'd be like, Belgium. <laughs> just like anyone looking for a YouTube video in Belgium can find me. That would work.
Um, Free Florence is doing well, but there seems to be some holes. Well, I don't know. Yeah, I think they're going to be okay. Once they wrap around here and start destroying Italy, I think they'll probably... Looks like they're strong enough to hold them off now. Oh, Union Gratamar. Oh, that's pretty cool. The name change. International Nicaragua. What are you? Oh, they're commie. Um, they're already doing much against Panama. Wait, who is at war? El Salvador v Guatemala. Oh. Wait, Guatemala is also fascist. No, that's Mexico. Guatemala are communist, but join the Allies. <laughs> no one wants to trigger that like World War Three, within World War Two, which would be really weird to have them going on inside each other. I'm not really sure how that would work. So many these bubbles are just in like so many different places. Germany must be. It said below twenty percent, and they were at ninety percent. So how have they not capitulated yet? Oh, ninety-three percent towards having twenty percent or less. Okay, never mind. My bad. They're getting pretty close though, which I think will mean I might get all of Norway in a bizarre turn of events. Outside Denmark, parts of Sweden, and Poland, <laughs> and Austria, just just among other things. Oh, look at that! They just come off. Oh, Vienna's the new capital. That would probably be the icing on the cake there, to finish it off. How did America get over here? What the heck? <laughs> Wait, how are they here without taking this land back? Oh, they have. It's just Norway's. Oh yeah, there you go. You can't really tell the difference. They're both like a muddy brown colour. I'll probably change my conscription laws to get me some new manpower actually. Is it volunteer only? Could maybe go service by requirement. I mean, it doesn't matter all the other negative penalties. All adults serve. Don't know what that would do. Because I don't have any manpower. Let's do limited conscription first. I can change it like straight away. I've got nearly one. Oh, and Germany has capitulated. I just got a lot of equipment. <laughs> oh, they released Poland. Either way, we've run now. Respond also. That, that was so smart. So they release Poland, which means Stalin has to go all the way around. I don't know if they meant to do that, or well, that was just the game doing what the game does. But that's really good for us. Oh, a new research slot. Nice. I think I'm very far behind on some of these things. I haven't really been paying too much attention. <laughs> Am I misreading this? Were they exactly the same? Oh no, the second one changes. Apparently I have planes. It's weird. <laughs> Fair enough. 163 factories. That is nice. Like I said I have no manpower. Apparently that didn't change when I changed the conscription law. Did I not change it? it doesn't seem to have done anything. Does it take time to kick in? I don't know. It seems to have split up a bit. Maybe they're going to reinforce back over here. Oh. Oh, seriously. <laughs> Lithuania. Nope. I think Lithuania's dead. I think that was Latvia. Yeah, that was Latvia. Joined the Axis. Doesn't really mean too much. Just someone else to go through. I think to get rid of the Axis, you just have to capitulate Italy. Oh no, Romania. Oh, that might be an issue. And Bolivia and Siam. Okay, never mind. <clears throat> it's probably not going to happen then. I'm afraid. That kind of sucks. Fall of Warsaw. Wait, to who? Wait, did Poland join? Oh, Poland's still in the Allies. Never mind. Yeah, this is probably the end. Stalin's just going to push on through. Let's just celebrate this great image of Belgium while it lasts. Yeah, how cool that is. <laughs> well, Turkey is busy conquering all of Africa for themselves. They're doing pretty well. <laughs> say the least it's not really there's not much resistance down here but 
and done a pretty good job. <laughs> not not too bad. Got Switzerland just chilling in the middle, just watching what's going on. Like what on earth has happened? Look at this faction map mode. Everyone in Europe now, except Italy and uh, no, sorry, Italy, Switzerland and Bulgaria. Oh, and Ireland. I guess Iceland. Not that. It doesn't sound so good anymore. Look over here though, this is scary. <laughs> if Japan went after Stalin, that would really, really mix things up. I think it's actually the other way around though, the war goal. Or is it not? Yeah, the Soviets would have to declare, which is unlikely. I don't think Japan's going to do it. They're still fighting America on these islands. America are just doing it in a weird order. It's retaken these ones, but just left Hawaii. Yeah, we're finally getting some manpower. A whole 4.28 thousand. Apparently I have 27,000 in the army. Not sure where or who. Oh, I'm actually going to get some divisions. Oh, cool, I can finally do something. <laughs> Not really sure where I'm going to go. They are actually making progress down here. Who is this? This is Yugoslavia being brought back from the dead. And it seems like they finally sent everything back this way. They sort of left it open for a while. But now that America's here again, doing just enough to sort of keep it slowly moving. But Hungary does seem to have got bigger. And wait, how did the Soviets take this from Slovak? That doesn't even make sense, but whatever. Wait, Vichy France has got... Oh, that's a big win. If they can get rid of Spain, they can then turn all their attentions on just Italy... And anything else in the east basically and it would be a whole lot easier all they've got to do is get rid of spain and portugal again yeah hungary is definitely pushed through they now have vienna which we saw was part of germany not that long ago so obviously they're pushed up oh guatemala has capitulated who that that took so long <laughs> when it finally happened oh there you go el salvador did that i'm also wondering there's a tiny chance it might be the only final sort of thing that happens that isn't already going on in the war is Mexico might just I don't know why I'm going for rockets they just sound cool um, Mexico might just invade the USA it's possible it's they've changed properly fascist now I imagine the US has got like no divisions actually in the US they're fighting in the Pacific they're winning in South America and Europe so maybe Mexico could like be the breaking point, but I, I don't know, maybe. It's very unlikely though that Mexico would do it. Especially not with Germany around. If Germany was still here, then maybe they'd get called in or something would happen. But now the Axis team's not so strong. Oh, Portugal is gone. That's the start they needed. They are slowly dealing with Spain, actually. And Italy. Wow, I didn't notice that. And Yugoslavia as well. How did the Dutch East Indies get in control of these? I will never know. Maybe there's still hope, like if they can get rid of Italy and Spain really quickly and then reinforce this front, then anything's possible. You know what? I'm willing to say it. That would be crazy if we see the Allies pull off the win, or at least something close to a win. Scandinavia's been reclaimed, Norway and Sweden both back now, and they're actually taking out Finland as well, slowly, but that's pretty cool to see. Denmark's back, although I think they popped out when Germany went. Not sure what the maths is, but for this whole war, the big one, it's somehow 17% in favour of the Allies? No idea how, like they haven't even touched Stalin or Japan, so that seems a bit unlikely. But <laughs> maybe that's just the Axis war and the other ones that emerged in don't count, I don't know. It just seems very weird. I definitely wouldn't have said it's going in their favour. Also, Peru may actually, I said they, they're going to be tough to capitulate. Brazil might do it. Argentina, that could hurt though if they join the Axis, which is possible. But unlikely, they could join Japan as well actually though. Oh, we finally got a division. There we go. And this is the last national focus, and I just hit the end. <laughs> Don't really know what to do with it now. I kind of want to send it to Spain. I feel like that is the important place, but at the same time, that Soviet border looks pretty tasty. Go, go over there, look. 
I just manage that one little bit. <laughs> That's that should work. But that's gonna be it for this episode. We will be back for one more. I'm doing it on an episode by episode basis, just because if it all starts crumbling, then we won't come back. But yeah, the allies are clinging on. They're they're doing something incredible. I can't believe they've pulled it back this far. And they're still holding on against Stalin. But either way, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below if you've enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe as well if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.